Ghana has set its sights on investing and developing clean and renewable energy. This is to drive a revolution in energy production in the country. This particular initiative has been dubbed the Energy Transformation Agenda by the Government of Ghana. Stick to this video to the end as we take a look at everything there is to know about this Energy Transformation Agenda and how it will help the nation in the coming years. Before we begin, kindly like and subscribe to this channel for more content like this let's get right into it since time memorial ghana has relied mainly on hydroelectric power and thermal energy for its electrical needs these sources have served ghana well in the past making it the seventh ranked country in africa with the highest access to energy with countries like egypt algeria morocco tunisia having 100 percent energy access gabon with 91 percent energy access and south africa with 85 percent energy access being the only african countries beating ghana's 84 percent energy access the government of ghana has long looked to improve this number to at least 90 percent by 2030 this would have been simple if it just meant increasing the conventional hydroelectric power and thermal energy sources currently available to us in the country but in this case hydroelectric power and thermal energy sources are some of the leading factors of releasing greenhouse gases into the atmosphere which is very detrimental to the planet and causing increasing climate change ghana joined the global community of nations that reached an understanding that the global temperature rise must not exceed 1.5 with several countries making the commitment to help curb the current trend of global warming ghana's commitment was basically opting to introduce more renewable and clean energy into the country with that said how will we achieve the targeted 90 percent energy access by 2030 if we are changing to cleaner and renewable sources of energy the energy minister honorable matthew opoku prempe in an address clarified how the country will be combining reaching their energy goal while ensuring a reduction in the emission of greenhouse gases ghana would focus more on renewable energy mainly about 80 percent solar energy and other sources including nuclear energy ghana will exploit its advantages of solar power and nuclear power to the fullest with the solar energy government has already taken steps in harnessing solar power across the country numerous solar grids have been put up to absorb sunlight to produce energy vra and other household names when it comes to energy production have also armed up its solar energy production all under the auspices of the energy transformation agenda the government has also stated that it is willing to provide help and assistance to individuals looking to use domestic solar panels for energy production Bui power authority is currently experimenting with placing solar panels on their water surfaces which is looking good so far all major water bodies could follow suits to produce more clean renewable energy by adapting this method of placing solar panels on the surface of water bodies two major merits would have been reaped the first one being the production of solar energy and the latter being the preservation of our water bodies the next phase of the energy transformation agenda has to do with the other sources of clean energy that Ghana is investing in, mainly nuclear energy. On this note, the Ghana Atomic Energy Commission, through its technical institute, with support from other national bodies, has met all the phase one nuclear infrastructure requirements recommended by the International Atomic Energy Agency. The integrated nuclear infrastructure review missions in 2017 and 2019 concluded that Ghana has satisfied all the prescribed studies for the government to make a knowledgeable commitment to a nuclear power program. The studies and activities undertaken in phase one of the nuclear power program have consolidated into a program comprehensive report. According to information from the World Nuclear Association, Ghana's Minister of Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation in 2021 said five vendors from the USA, Russia, Canada and South Korea had responded to a request for interest in helping the country build its first plant with an expectation that 
that a contract for a one gigawatt energy plant would be signed sometime in 2024 to 2025. The United States earlier this year also confirmed that it is supporting Ghana's adoption of small modular reactor technology and Ghana's willingness to invest in and explore nuclear energy. There is no doubt that making all these possible will take some time and hard work. But yet again, rather commendably, Ghana is on the right path and it's sure to achieve its energy goals by 2023. If you like content like this, be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Also, check out this video next on massive projects in Ghana that would blow your mind. Thank you and on to the next video. Be sure to check this video out.